talked about the homeschooling thing, but the home birthing thing is, is a big thing because of, well, why is any of it? Well, because there's a real education to have about it. But what the thing pointed out about a woman having kids is that um, her experience is going to teach her and, and it's very unpredictable and she has to pay attention. Getting back to this paying attention thing and, and with sex. Um, see, she's the one who has a profound duty to, 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 to say, okay, okay, like, kind of like, uh, cover her whole and say, now, can you give me a kiss? Can you, can you make me feel better than, than you did last time? See, that's, that's the communication that is so vital to me. I'm just looking at, see, that's the way you're tilling the ground and, and it's like, oh, it's hard, it's hard, but, but now what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Usually you just know. It's not a mystery. Whatever seed you had, you're going to plant it, and that's what you're going to get. With sex, you're going to have a fucking orgasm. Usually you have climax. You're climaxing together. You're making each other feel good. You actually want that from that person. See, um, uh, my experience is that you have to bring them up into appreciating that. And they do. They can. They can. And you're after a while you're not experiencing that awkward it's awkward at first but then after a while you're not experiencing it anymore why because you communicated and you didn't remain an idiot i i made a longer video about this and i guess i'll put it up but towards the end i got kind of personal and and, and I, of course you know this is a very personal subject matter that i've been studying for since age um well um a long time I've been interacting with boys and men and and just we're there to feel good it's a way to, so um and it shouldn't be a problem you know um there are problems though the woman is complicating and I noticed that right away god it's conversation you know um the what I was talking about in the beginning how it's so important that she is able to explore herself same thing with boys has to be happening by the age six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I was about to say, and even, God, this conversation. But welcome to Venus, kind of letting go of Mars. It's going to happen and say, you know what? I have some things to do. And it's, and it's to, ch you know, just check this out. How hard it is on love when um, all we think about is pleasure. How about that? It's something to say. It's something to say. When all we think about is our own pleasure. And something that the men's sex doesn't understand. How that a woman yields herself and gives to him. For what? Well, it's possible that we can be fulfilled and satisfied. And she's not, she's not getting fulfilled and satisfied. She has to get what she wants. He's getting what he wants, and she has to get what he wants. Now, that, to me, that's not a problem. You just communicate. You know, there could be an awkward moment. First couple times, you know, I, you know, I said give it six months. In my last video, I said if, if it depends on the frequency and everything and who you really are. You see, it, and it takes energy and time, literally. I heard Sam Backman say something like this, and I'm going to say it too. A woman's duty, who she is, a man could be jealous of her about this and probably trying to kill her. This is what I'm trying to figure out. It's like, okay, I just saw something on on that this morning. It's like, there it is. See, people think I'm I'm talking um, harsh. It's like, no, metaphorically, what I'm saying is it's worse. I mean, you might as well be dead. Because they try to take all of your feelings away and all of the validity of, of all of your being human away and all the experience away. And they just, they just, they don't get it. They don't get fucking, it's only because they're so immature. It's very possible that they're just so short of so many experiences. And um, maybe there's neurological brain damage. I don't know. That right there isn't an excuse. To me, it's just like, well, when are you going to pay attention? Because, and so... Uh, you know, the society of people that, that their rewards is just money. They don't care about love. They don't care about the quality of the human relationships that they are conducting. I keep fucking talking about this shit. And man, I hope I don't appear like, uh, 
like I'm broken or something, like a broken record or something, but, uh, you know, narcissists will make you feel that way because it's like they never fucking get it. Uh, you know, and, and so for me personally, babes, I have to find real love in my life. I can't keep doing what I'm doing, whatever it is I'm doing. See, what, I, what I've done is I've taken my chances. You take your risks and, and you, you actually, um, you know, you give it some time. I just give it, I just give it too much time than I should have. And so, um, I'm, I, it's, um, sad because I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to let people know what I'm talking about here, but I, um, I just don't know how to reach out for help from the, for the right people. I'm not sure if I'm getting it or not. And I'm not closing up. You know, it's just, that's the point of my last video, talking about, like, okay, so women have a profound responsibility if they're not um, honoring their own bodies and making sure they're feeling good, then they're, they're going to just, they're going to do the entire civilization a disservice because it's not the man's mother who teaches him how to behave and respect her and start to learn something totally different about life than whatever the limited capacity that they really do have. And I'm not a biased person, babes. Um, but this is really hard. You know, I can, I can see, a lot of people can see some people aren't worth the effort because why? They're narcissists. They're permanently broken people and their immaturity might be too harmful for your for the delicacy of your um, entire intelligence system, down to your body. And when a woman is going to that place and begins to abuse herself with a narcissist, you know, thinking that she's having a good time or something, I don't know, man. Um, I think a lot of that's where you get a lot of hate underlying hate and then people are turning gay on people and I don't know whatever I don't want anything to do with it but I'm looking at something and I don't want to talk about it